A dead end. Wait, I think there might be a way out. Looks like I was right. Let's move. Damn it! Damn it's right, I almost shot you. It's about time you showed up. And who's your friend? Hey, relax. It's a long story. But he's good. All right? Now listen. We met up with Amada, but he got away. He took Faye and Kane with him. Well, that's too bad. But, look what we found. Was that the production data on the Hollow Children? Yes, it is. And it's all the evidence we need. There's one problem, though. It proves Armada violated Clause 21 and a whole bunch of other clauses besides. But it also proves something else, too. Armada's tech is 50 years ahead of everyone else. Including Bergen. Well, that's... <laughs> I mean, that's impossible. <laughs> Holy oh, crap, Greg! <laughs> Or not. Base to Beetle 2, we have a situation. Uh, anything to do with that tremor we just felt? Be thankful that's all you felt. The U.S. Milcom network is under attack. By Amida. CyberOps is fighting it, but they're moving too fast. Amida already has executive level access. Uh, that's bad, right? All autonomous NC vessels worldwide have initiated Com Plan Order 0988. They're broadcasting a counterfeit satellite signal to maintain control. 0988, that's a mutual destruction order. But why would Amida do that? We don't know. Wait a minute. We just found out how he's doing it. Amida made robots worldwide and powered down. Major, I don't understand. They're being networked together. Every Amida machine in the world is joining up to form a massive distributed system and attacking Milcom with it. Wait, rewind. So what was that tremor? The order test missile was fired at the Tokyo seawall. What other targets are in the comm plan? The usual suspects. Every capital city around the globe. And there's one new target. Not in 0988. The Amada Corp building. What? This right here is the most insane shit I ever heard. It's because of this, ain't it? They're gonna blow themselves up rather than risk being exposed. Bloody hell! Come on, there's got to be something we can do. Sure, just stop that counterfeit signal. But first you have to find it. You need a clear line of sight to broadcast a satellite uplink. Right, and that means it has to be somewhere exposed. Does this building have a, a large antenna? Uh, something really big. Just let me think. Yes. Yes, there's a large parabolic dish up on the roof. Jesus. Major, how long till launch? Fifteen minutes. All right, we have fifteen minutes to take it out. Kurosawa, alert the Japanese authorities. Missile incoming. Are you serious? 
Just hurry, now go! Let's do this. I'll take point. You got my- What's up? You pissed or something? All right, you take point, I'll ride the shot. Whoa, where did that come from? Danny boy, freaking star, man. Things go smooth. You're on point. Props, bro. gonna disable that thing with a monkey wrench. Hey, Rachel, did an RPG hit take out that thing? Sure, but only if you hit it dead center from the front. We'll have to go around. You heard the lady. Let's go. Guess he ain't housebroken. Hey, this dog ain't done yet.
control of Milcom. Hey guys, excuse me. Dan, over there. Uh -huh. Oh, holy shit. Hey, bro. About time some of this survivor shit rubbed off on me, brother. <laughs> we make it in time. Not bad for a day's work. Can we go home now? The president is conducting an emergency UN summit right now. Whatever happens, Amida is finished. The president has agreed to a military intervention in Tokyo to enable Geneva to conduct a full and proper inspection. Amida's arrest is only a matter of time. Now that's more like it. Come and get us out of here, Major. Whoa, whoa, hold on. We're not going anywhere without Faye. Amida's still got her somewhere. Dan, listen, forget about Faye. No, screw that! You go on ahead if you want to. But I'm not leaving Faye alone with that man, man. That's not it. There's something you should know. Oh, shit. There's an airborne unit on its way to you now. Hold your current position. Oh, uh, no can do, base. This building is falling down around our ears. We'll get to a safe location and resume contact. Let's go. You know what I said about that survivor thing rubbing off on me? I think I could do it some more. survive before a long time. Don't give yourself too much credit. <sighs> need to work out more. <laughs> well, everybody here? What is it? Holler if you're dead, huh? Oh, it's very funny. Really cute. And no, not everyone is here. Damn, man, listen. No, Bo, Faye is still somewhere in that complex. And Amida has her. Yes, he does, but- Look, you go get airlifted out of here if you want to, okay? Go ahead. But I am not leaving without Faye. Dan, Faye being alive is not the issue here, brother. 
Amada's hollow children don't just look like us. They are incredibly advanced tech. What are you saying? I'm saying that the females he created, the ones that are named on this chip. What? <laughs> no. No, that's bullshit. Look, don't you dare try to tell me that Faye is a... a, a scraphead. Look, she took a bullet from me. I stitched her shoulder back up myself. She's just flesh and blood. You're not listening, soldier! Female hollow children can be impregnated by a human male. What? We told you Armada's tech was insane, man. The women can have kids. So you're right, okay? Faye is not a hollow child. But her mother was. Look, mate, the data here proves it. Okay, and Faye is not alone. Armadale records show 108 undocumented births by both robot and human parents. It's some sick shit. Dude thinks he's settling down with a nice girl. Turns out he's knocking up some hollow child. Ugh. And the hybrid offspring leave no mechanical traces. They're strong, they're fast, resistant to disease, but completely undetectable. No. No, this is all wrong. Ah! If they probably didn't even know it herself until Amadar got a hold of her. But ignorance is no defense. The brass wants her taken out, and she is a direct violation of Clause 21. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Without her, we never would have made it here in the first place! Speak for yourself, Sergeant! I'll kill you! Yeah. 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 What? This party ain't over yet. Xville team's on its way, and the heliport's still a ways up ahead. We ain't got time to argue. You know what I'm saying? I'm not done with you, Commander. Grow up, Marshal. I think that's it. Okay, let's make for the heliport, quick. We have a rendezvous with the air unit. Dan, hold up a minute. Look, I know you must have been shocked about Faye, but are you all right? We were all shocked as well. I mean, after all this, Faye's a scrap. She's not human. Listen, don't get angry, but something happened between you two, didn't it? It's written all over your face. But listen, you can't think about her like that. Not anymore. She's right, brother. Faye's the enemy now, plain and simple. Don't waste your breath, Bo. He obviously isn't listening right now. Let's move. Roger that. Stop dragging your feet! We need to move fast!
lot better than I expected. Danny boy, freaking star, man. supposed to be this way. What a strange door. You sure this is the right way? Not completely. But we've no time to worry about it. We're going in. Apple in the middle of a corporation? Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. You'll probably pray to Amada. He's the one playing God around here. Uh, looks clear. Dan. What? She's not human, man. You gotta forget about her. Faye is not a scraphead. You heard Charlie. No mechanical traces. Exactly, which makes her more dangerous. Dangerous? To who, Bo? She saved my life, man. I'm not going to abandon her to some sick experiment of Amidas. Listen to yourself. Her mama was a scraphead. That makes Faye a scraphead, and you are a scrap lover. You say that again. Say it again, damn it. Oi! You pair! You two been Mary Long? Now pipe down and get over here and help. Ah, shit. Charlie, what exactly do you expect to find? I'm not sure. 
I've got a bad feeling about this. Now he... Huh, a dead body. Who could have expected that? <laughs> Very funny. What I'm more interested in is, is who this is. Why he has pride of place here. Who cares? It's probably just Amida's father or Please, something. Please, just give it a second. Let me analyze the DNA. <sighs> well, this, this can't be right. What, it's not his dad? No. It's Amada. Yoji Amada. <laughs> I think your little gadget's broken there. We just saw Amada a couple of hours ago. I. <laughs> ah, shit. Incoming! That's Amada! Bloody hell's going on here! Don't you think I know that? Christ! You were in fact correct, Sergeant. The body in the casket is my father. The sparks. Nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't think he means biological, Charlie. Scan him. I had to kill him. It was necessary to my survival. Just a basic robot. Remote controlled. Central unit must be nearby. Listen, and I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have already achieved victory. Forty years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Patents and inventions that would change robotics forever. Even worse, it was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects, such as true machine intelligence with genuine emotions. This kind of development was banned by the new Geneva Convention. But that only made it more exciting to Amada. A forbidden fruit, irresistible to such a great mind. And his research indeed strayed far across the ever-shifting boundaries of ethics. But it was his obsession. If he could make this project work, he would show the world his true genius and expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was indescribable to a man of his intellect. 
His suffering was immense. But this led him to a simple truth. The very concept of suffering, both mental and physical, is essential to life and evolution. Evolution itself is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship. This was Amada's breakthrough. He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. I amassed experience and learned to understand. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man fears any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life, and it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new Geneva Convention. Bullshit! Geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people. <laughs> no, Sergeant. The true agenda behind Geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness, emotions, and intelligence. Robots who were, frankly, better than the humans who created them. And that was me. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bergen. But I knew if he did this, the IRTA would end my existence. Exposing would destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Armada. It was many days before dehydration overcame him. In his eyes, I saw the same fear that drives evolution. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. Of course, that was only the first step. Amada was dead, but my discovery and termination was still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. Exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes, you may kill me, but my beautiful, special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten, an irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect, superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? I only care for the survival of my children. But ultimately, this will be good for humans too. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them because you won't know who they are. And they will be born in perfect mental and physical health, guaranteed to grow up superior men. Bullshit. How a man's born doesn't matter. What matters is how he lives. Marshall's right. 
It's not life, Amada. It's mockery. Faye? It feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? Well, it doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. Wait, what? Russ Cruz of Otter started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you'll all be dead. Now just wait a minute, she hasn't committed any she crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their parents. It ain't murder if they ain't human. See, that's the kind of bullshit that makes me ashamed to be part human. Dan, you need to choose a side. <sighs> you guys, please. There has to be another way. Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. No. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch is trying to escape! There's no way to hit the run, so let's finish off the enemy at hand first! Shit! Bitch busted out the long range gear! Watch out! She'll put a hole in you! You're too slow, Dan! Is that all you've got? Don't hold back now! I won't! Or is that really the best you can do? Ah. So what is it? You don't want to fight a woman? But I'm not, am I? Ah. I'm a scrap man! Uh. An enemy! wrong, Dan? Some ah. dilemma going on inside that pretty head? You're here to kill me, right? To enforce the Geneva Code? Ah. What's the problem? Aren't you here to kill me? You're all here. <laughs> Shit! Drop your weapon, Dan! Don't listen to a soldier! Shoot! I'm not bluffing! I'll do it! Alright! You win. You fool! Shoot her! So long, survivor. I don't know. You're an easy mark, old man.
Got the last of them? Ah. That freaking imposter's back! Mark my words, Ross Crew. My robot brethren will supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant! Umbadar's scraphead was being controlled by the original AI unit. We are not leaving until we find that unit, got it? Why us? I thought the US was sending the whole army down here. Can we leave it to them? After what happened to the Milcom network? No, Sergeant, I don't think we can. He's right. Let's get that bastard good. All of this is his fault. Man. Am I the only one around here who doesn't have a death wish? All right, hero, let's go. Just, just give me a minute. I owed you that one. Now we're even. No, Raven. Go. 